Eighth grade open up resources, illustrative mathematics, unit two, lesson one, projecting and scaling. Number one, rectangle A measures 12 centimeters by three centimeters. Rectangle B is a scaled copy of rectangle A. Select all the measurement pairs that could be the dimensions of rectangle B. Six centimeters by one and five tenths centimeters. First, I'll start by drawing rectangle A, 12 centimeters by 3 centimeters. And inside it, I'll draw the first rectangle, 6 centimeters by 1 and 5 tenths centimeters. And right away, I noticed that 6 centimeters is exactly half the length of 12 centimeters. And 1 and 5 tenths centimeters in height is half the height. So this could be rectangle B. Next, I'll draw the rectangle that's 10 centimeters by 2 centimeters. And without doing any math, this just doesn't look like it's going to be a scaled copy of rectangle A. I'll come back to it later to double check. Next, I'll draw the rectangle that's 13 centimeters by 4 centimeters. And I'll come back to this one too to double check. Now I'll draw the rectangle with the dimensions 18 centimeters by 4 and 5 tenths centimeters. This one looks like it could be a scale drawing of rectangle A, but I'll come back and check this one later too. This last rectangle is way too large to draw on this graph paper, so I'm gonna scale it down myself. 80 divided by 10 is eight, and 20 divided by 10 is two. So I'm actually going to draw a rectangle that's 10 times smaller than the dimensions listed for rectangle E. One method that you can use to see if a rectangle is a scale version of another rectangle is to run a line right through the corners of the original rectangle, just like I did in this example. If the line runs through the corners and matches, then those rectangles would be a scaled copy of the original rectangle, just like when you're resizing an image on the computer. If you look close enough, you'll see that three of these rectangles line up perfectly with rectangle A. So examples A, D, and E are all scaled copies of rectangle A and could be rectangle B. And examples B and C are not scaled copies of rectangle A, therefore they could not be rectangle B. Here's another way to determine if they will be a scaled copy of another rectangle without actually drawing the rectangle. Take the dimensions of the first rectangle, 12 by 3, and divide 12 by 3. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. Now do the same thing with the dimensions of the rest of the examples. 6 divided by 1.5 equals 4. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. 13 divided by 4 equals 3.25. So, so far I can tell that anything that doesn't equal 4 is not going to be a scaled version of rectangle A. 18 divided by 4.5 equals 4, and 80 divided by 20 equals 4. So again, A, D, and E are all scaled versions of rectangle A and could be rectangle B. Number 2. Rectangle A has length 12, and width 8. Rectangle B has length 15 and width 10. Rectangle C has length 30 and width 15. A. Is rectangle A a scaled copy of rectangle B? If so, what is the scale factor? I've illustrated both rectangle A at 12 by 8 and rectangle B at 15 by 10. Rectangle A looks like it could be a scaled copy of rectangle B, but just for fun, I'm going to draw some other rectangles that are scaled copies of rectangle B. If you were to draw that line through the corners like we did before, you would see that, yes, rectangle A is a scaled copy of rectangle B. Because that line would run perfectly through the corner of rectangle A and rectangle B. Now I'm going to find the scale factor. Let's look at rectangle B. I'm going to divide that up into fifths. Five fifths equals one whole height for rectangle B. Now let's compare the height of rectangle A to the five-fifths of rectangle B. The four-fourths of rectangle A is equivalent to four-fifths of rectangle B. So the scale factor of rectangle A is four-fifths. B. 
Is rectangle B a scaled copy of rectangle A? If so, what is the scale factor? Remember, rectangle A is the pink rectangle and rectangle B is the blue rectangle. Yes, rectangle B is a scaled copy of rectangle A. The 5 fifths of rectangle B is equivalent to 5 fourths of rectangle A. The scale factor of rectangle B is 5 fourths. C. Explain how you know that rectangle C is not a scaled copy of rectangle B. Remember, rectangle A is pink, rectangle B is blue, and rectangle C is not on the graph because rectangle C was way too big to draw on the graph. The dimensions for rectangle C are 30 by 15. Rectangle C's length is double the length of rectangle B's length, but its width is not double. And that's how I know that rectangle C is not a scaled copy of rectangle B. D. Is rectangle A a scaled copy of rectangle C? If so, what is the scale factor? If rectangle A is a scaled copy of rectangle B, and rectangle C is not a scaled copy of rectangle B, then rectangle A cannot be a scaled copy of rectangle C. Here's proof. The dimensions for rectangle A are 12 and 8, and the dimensions for rectangle C are 30 and 15. Since 15 is half of 30 and 8 is not half of 12, then no, rectangle A is not a scaled copy of rectangle C. Number 3. Here are three polygons. A. Draw a scaled copy of polygon A with a scale factor of one half. Our copy needs to have half the height and half the width. B. Draw a scaled copy of polygon B with a scale factor of two. Our copy has to have double the height and double the width. C. Draw a scaled copy of polygon C with a scale factor of one-fourth. The copy's height and width needs to be one-fourth of the original. Number four, from eighth grade, unit one, lesson 15. Which of these sets of angle measures could be the three angles in a triangle? Remember that the sum of all three angles in a triangle must equal 180 degrees. B is the only option that would work. 50 degrees plus 60 degrees plus 70 degrees equals 180 degrees. Those three angle measures could be the three angle measures of a triangle. Number five, from eighth grade, unit one, lesson 14. In the picture, lines A, B, and C, D are paralleled. Find the measure of the following angles. Explain your reasoning. They gave us two hints. They told us that lines A, B, and C, D are parallel, and they gave us one angle measure that's 38 degrees. We can use this clue to help us find the other angle measures of 38 degrees. And then now we can find the remaining angle measures because we know that the straight line is 180 degrees. So 180 degrees minus 38 degrees equals 142 degrees. And now we know the angle measure for the rest of the missing angles. Now we're all set to answer the questions. A. What's the measure of angle B, C, D? Now all we have to do is locate angle B, C, D. So find those three points, B, C, and D. The measure is 38 degrees. B, what is the measure of angle E, C, F? Again, locate angle E, C, F and you'll find the answer. This angle's measure is also 38 degrees. C. What is the measure of angle D, C, F? Find the angle and you'll find its measure. The measure of angle D, C, F is 142 degrees. 